short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the water's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over.
with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair. Today, cool shades. It's a lovely day, Rihanna. Do you want to play outside? Oh, you need to water your plants. And it looks like it might rain. Thank you. 
do you want to play shish? You're busy writing your book! And the rain clouds have come back. Sorry, Zizi. Well done, Zizi. Fernando, do you want to come outside? You'd love to. But you've got some thinking to do. What about? Won't anyone come out and play today? <laughs> Hello Hippo! Would you like to play outside? You will! Right after you've read the last page of your book! That's one very long page! I think it's time we all went outside! Maybe we should take our umbrellas! Just in case it rains! playing with Hippo and we learnt all about the weather. Clouds can block the sun and bring rain. What is Zizi up to? Well done, Zizi. Bye bye. Woo. Oof. Hi, Shish. You look like you need a trim for the long summer ahead. Hello, Zizi the barber. Nice work on Leo the lion. trip today. Aha, you'd like to look just like Leo. Well, that's different. Hmm, perhaps something less exotic? It's summer! 
Huh, wouldn't you feel more cool with a shorter cut? Reachish, you look like a hound dog. And that's much cooler for the summer. Okay, okay. Zizi, short back and sides, quick. What do you think? Zizi, back to the drawing board. You look great! Very cool and ready for the summer! Great work, Hippo! You've swept up all Shush's wool! Shush, what could you do with all that coloured wool? Great idea! Go and give everyone your wool! You look great with your new haircut! An amazing barber! Do you think Shish is pleased? Shish has so many coloured balls of wool! Which one do you think Shish will bring first? This wool is green! This one's purple! And this one is red! You see, Shish's wool is very warm! And you can make woolly sweatshirts with the wool to keep you warm! Wow, isn't it lucky we all have such thoughtful friends? See you all next time! Bye bye!
chickens, time to wake up! I wonder why it's going so fast! Hi Zizi! Hey Hippo! I see you're eating breakfast! The first meal of the day! Look, the chicken is back! An egg! A chick will hatch from it! Yes, a chicken lays an egg, and then a chick hatches out of it. And where did that chicken come from? From an egg. And where did that egg come from? From a chicken. Ah, uh, I see. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? Hippo, do you know what comes first? Yes, Hippo, breakfast comes first, then lunch, then dinner, that's right. And we know that number one comes before two. And we know that number two comes before three. One, two, three. We also know the letter A comes before... No, Zizi. A comes before the letter B in the alphabet. That's right, Hippo. B is for butterfly. And B comes before the letter. No, Zizi. C comes after B. C is for candy. You do know that Z comes much, much later. OK, follow the butterfly. It will show you all the letters of the alphabet and where you can find Z for Zizi. Z comes. That is a lovely big Z, but it is still the last letter of the alphabet. Zizi, we can't change what comes first. The letter Z comes last, while the letter A always comes first. But Z is the first letter of your name. We learnt that breakfast is the first meal of the day. Then lunch, then dinner. That's right. We also learnt that first comes number one, and then the number two. And after number two comes three. It's hatching. But what comes first? The chicken or the egg?
spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the sea out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So wincy, wincy spider went up the spout again. Incy, wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the pouring sea out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So wincy, wincy spider went up the spout again. Incy, wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the pouring sea out. Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently up the creek If you see a little mouse Don't forget to squeak Row, row, row your boat Gently to the shore If you see a lion Don't forget to roar to scream.
Well, this is strange. Where is everybody? One, two, three, four, and that makes five. It's D, the dinosaur. It looks like it wants to play. I wonder if it knows any tricks. Sit. Turn around. What a lovely pirouette. Roll over. <laughs> well done. Can it fetch? Wow! Look at that bone fly! It landed in some clay. That was a mighty throw, Zizi. I wonder if we could use the clay to make something. Hippo, you've made a shape. A triangle. Can anyone else make a shape? Rihanna's made a rectangle. Fernando, you've made a bone. <laughs> Very good. And you created a shape, Zizi. What is it? A circle. I think Dee wants to play fetch again. What was that noise? Ah, it's Grandpa. Did you have an accident, Grandpa? He's building something. It's your new invention. Isn't it missing something? It needs wheels. Hmm, what shape would be good for a wheel? Hippo, Rihanna, Fernando and Zizi. Quickly, get your shapes and let's see if they'd be any good as wheels. And Zizi, you never know. The circle might be just right. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on his thumb. Give a dog a bone, this old man has cracked a stone. This old man, he played two, ZZ wants to join in two. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone, Grandpa's happy he's not alone. Help Grandpa find the right shape. The 
dinosaur can fetch them. Go fetch, Dee. What's that shape? Would it be good as a wheel? No, that will not make a good wheel. What shape is this? Could it be good for a wheel? A triangle? I don't think so. What shape's this? Could it be good for a wheel? A circle? Oh, that would be the perfect shape for a wheel. What's that? It's Grandpa driving his car. Look at them go in his shiny new wheels. Well done, Grandpa.